This is Kilglass graveyard outside Longwood. Thomas Allen, who fought in the 1916 Rising and died, was buried here. The graveyard is uh, quite old. Kilglass means the church or the wood of the green. There is now no church here, but uh, Anthony Coogan in the 1860s says that there was the remains of a church in this graveyard. Thomas Allen was born in Longwood about 1885. When he was very young, his mother died and both he and his sister were taken to their grandparents' house at Ballasport, Hill of Down, where Thomas attended the local school and was later apprenticed to bootmaker Pat Halpin of Clondalee. Thomas appeared in the 1901 census as an apprentice to Halpin. Moving to Dublin, Allen joined the Irish Volunteers. In 1916, Allen was active in the occupation of the Four Courts. Four days after the Rising began, Allen was shot and he died. His remains were first interred in Glasnevin Cemetery, but early in 1917 they were reburied in Longwood. Thomas Allen was survived by his wife, three sons and a daughter. Kilglass is the burial site of Philip Gray, whose funeral was one of the launching points for the foundation of the Fenians and the Irish Republican Brotherhood. Gray, a young Irelander, had taken part in the 1848 and 1849 rebellions. Gray died in 1857 and his remains were interred beside those of his father under a spreading tree at Kilglass. Today Gray's grave is unknown and unmarked. I was delighted to get the County Council to have a sign erected to the graveyard and Philip's, Philip Gray's grave noted. The earliest uh, date of a gravestone here is 1706 and it's to John Gilsonen who died the 12th of July 1706 aged 86. But he's not the oldest person buried here. The oldest person buried here is Anne Edgeworth who died aged 91 in 1899. Of course, the Edgeworths were large landed family uh, in Longwood and Edgeworth Court bears uh, the, their, the family name. Other interesting uh, gravestones here is Patrick uh, Conway, who uh, was a teacher for 33 years, and uh, Francis Chute, the medical officer of Longwood uh, Dispensary District, who was born in Mullingar and uh, died at Longwood in 1891 and he was interred in Kilglass at his own request. Dr Shields, dispensary uh, doctor, Kilglass, Longwood, died in uh, 1914. Two headstones are erected by immigrants from Pennsylvania and Palm Beach, Florida and there's a number of metal crosses with no family names recorded. Kilglass Graveyard is uh, well maintained and uh, I would like to thank Father Michael Kilmartin and Val Forn who take an enormous interest in the graveyard. The inst all the inscriptions for the graveyard uh, are recorded uh, by the Baconstown Heritage Group and are available on a website. But uh, for the number of headstone inscriptions, there is probably 20 more people buried than, than uh, underground than are on those uh, headstone inscriptions. Thank you.